hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to use textures to control attributes in this section i will be using textures to manipulate attributes to create interesting and more complex scenes you will learn how to use the attribute sample texture note to change specific attributes using texture map so let's begin by making some changes to the scene that we saved in the previous section. First of all, we need to delete all of three, uh, all three of our attribute randomize. Select it, then hit X to delete it. Hit X. Also, delete this by hitting X. Then connect this node to this node as shown here. Now let's increase our level of subdivisions to 5 by just in level. And this will increase the number of instances we have in our scene as shown here. Also decrease point scale factor to 0 0.2. So I tried to set it to level 4 because when set it to level 5 this is going to be making all the Susanna going to touch in touching itself like this then I want to set the point scale uh, this factor on different axes to dot zero five. This is going to be showing it clearly as in our example now it's a time to introduce a new node called attribute symbol sample texture node so shift a go over there go over attribute then click on attribute sample texture this node is set to sample texture so let's bring it in between the point translate node and point instance node so this node is used to sample texture and apply the results to an attribute such as rotation scale and position. So let's connect it to geometry of the point translate. Then connect it to here. Let's click on new on the attribute sample texture node to create a blank texture. Click on new on the attribute sample to create a new uh, blank texture as shown here. You can also name your texture here. For example, Blender logo. Next step is uh, clicking on the show texture in the texture tab. As shown in our example over there we scroll down the mouse wheel we have uh, some features you can enable and disable some features when hitting m this is gonna be muting your uh, note as shown here in the case where we where you can't find the, the, the top to control this node over there and add in some uh, textures you can click over this button show texture and the text tab is going to be showing this uh, panel to control whatever you want for this node your texture will now be displayed in the side menu as shown here you can scroll down the mouse wheel Let's change the texture type by clicking on the drop down list that is currently showing image or movie. Click on it, it's gonna be showing this uh, drop down list. For now, change this to a wood texture, for example. Shown in our example. As 
as you can see in our 3D viewport editor, nothing will happen yet as we uh, as we still need to configure our new node. So let's do that next. Back in the geometry node editor, let's take a look at the attribute sample texture node. It has two attribute source that we can use. The mapping, as shown here, though we have the mapping attribute is used to determine where and how the texture is evaluated. Click on the empty box next to mapping, as shown here. It's going to be showing this drop down menu. And select UV map from the list and attributes, as shown here. Click on UV map. Result uh, setting can be can be any attribute we want to affect using the texture. So let's choose scale. Click on it, go over there, change it to scale. You can notice the result over there because I tried to scale the Susanna monkey. So you can subdivide, it's going to be uh, making the Susan monkey head following and uh, following the path and creating all these lines as shown here. You can notice that our instance scale has been updated and matches our word texture as shown here. In our example, where we have black pixels, the scale factor will be set to zero. We have uh, over there this uh, black lines is set to zero and the, the white lines is set to, the, to one because uh, in this example we have a grayscale image the scale factor would be set to zero and where we have white pixels we will have a scale factor of one feel free to experiment with other texture types to see how it affects your scene you can even load your own custom image texture by choosing image or movie as a type setting and then clicking on open to load your image. For example, like this, you can click on uh, image or movie as shown here and scroll down, click on, on open and go to choose. For example, I tried to set it to uh, downloading this uh, Blender logo as a grayscale image. Click on it to select it and click on open image in our example over there we tried to load an image as shown here go to desktop and click on uh, Click on the image if you want to select it, for example, and load image. Grayscale should be grayscale image to get uh, good results and see how it affects the scale of your instances. The following example is a grayscale image of the Blender logo. So let's see result. It's great. So in our example, I just want to set it to much more subdivisions as shown in our example. It's going to be creating this blender logo as shown here because this is following the the shape and the, the shape created by this logo to set it to blender logo using geometry notes and that's very amazing for this example i have moved the point scale node after attribute sample texture a node and lowered the value to 0.4 In our example, let me show you something very interesting in order to make uh, an example similar to our experiment over there for geometry nodes I have moved the, the point scale after the attribute sample texture and tried to set it to 0 0.4 0 0.4 for all the axes of this factor so the reason for placing the node here is that our attribute sample texture node is changing our scale attribute. Therefore, any node before the attribute sample texture node will not have any effect, any effect on the scale attribute. Remember that the data is following from the left to right.
For example, let's change it to 0 0.1 or 0 0.6. For example, change it to 0 0.8, for example. So let's uh, add much more subdivision. It's going to be following the, the this drawing of the, the shape of this Blender logo and going to create the logo using Susanna Monkey and Geometry Notes. Just set it to 5. So let's... So let's just uh, zoom zoom in, in order to show you all these elements are Susanna Monkey and uh, going to rotate in around to create this Blender logo and that's great. By now you should have a basic understanding, understanding of what Geometry Notes is and how it can be used to create amazing patterns or scenes. So in the next section we will look at how to add keyframes and animation to our geometry nodes using basic math. Thanks for watching.